I see you gather before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction, the trolls, the corpse-eaters, the werewolves, did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes. Their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh! It's the time of madness and disdain.
You know I don't find that amusing. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. Well, <laughs> I am confused. I have a feeling that it wasn't supposed to do this. Just a thought. Spectacular. There we go. We're, we are back. Do I have to glitch through Wild Hunt? This is challenging. Cool. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training.
garlic and gooseberries, of course. Geralt, stop fingering my toiletries. <laughs> Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Hmm. Undergarments. Cool. Nothing but silver. Gold clashes with my complexion. You should know that. Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm? What? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. Better taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice. She'll get to practice. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses so, to do as she's told. You like that about her? <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame, but this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that, if she is to become one of us. I'll see you below. See why you were so eager to practice. Strike. You're not in this circus, pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! <laughs> exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. 
Shall we run the walls? Of course. Is a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? To the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you fall. Breathing through your mouth in rhythm with your steps. Siri, cut it out. Desimir's got that look. What did you expect? Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Desimir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. Don't try to weasel your way out of this. A witcher must know how to trick his opponent. You said so yourself. Might have. But don't use my words of wisdom on Vesemir, got it? That's playing with fire. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Ciri with a dummy. <sighs> Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals, or go right to free training? Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. Draw your sword, Geralt! Last words. One, two, three. <laughs> Strong stuff. Give it all you got. Never lock your elbow when striking, young lady. No. Tom fool. Enough. No. Position, Siri. Footwork. Remember. Counter-strike! <laughs> 
Now, young lady, to bring the day to a close, we'll go over a few witches' signs. Let's start with the Quen. Siri, Quen is sometimes called the Witch's Shield. Now watch carefully to see why. Cast Igni, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. See? If not for the Quen sign, I'd be aflame by now. Ah, right, Geralt. Come on! See that, Siri? Art will knock anyone or anything off balance. Time for Axie. Damn it. I hate this feeling. Ugh. Axie can really muddle your mind. Erden now. Show her, Geralt. See this, Siri? Couldn't move if I wanted. Throw a bomb. Don't worry, Siri. Quen will dampen the blow. Oh, my middle mouse button didn't work. Enough! Continue training at will! Whoa! You really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she-devil. Soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Kaer Morhen. Find that helmet? Siri? Make sure to find every last blade for you.
You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? It'd take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub, and next to me... Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. In the dream. I went and found Ciri, and then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it, your dream? No. The Wild Hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait! Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet... soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? That's private. Very private. Aha. I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but perhaps that's for the best. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. The trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Necropages follow. Let's go before any more show up. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. 
because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders, as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going. Lower. We going? Help me! Help! Has it gone? Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly. But griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it. Alive. Piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But... There's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around. Gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the innkeep's my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye, nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. So, a griffin this close to the village? Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest of the mountains, sure, but here? And near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything.
damn dish. Get the fuck off the tree. Think those plums are wreaking havoc on the gut. What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is your coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. Cheers. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just pass through. Now a griffin's prowling about. <clears throat> Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Looking for a woman. Raven-haired, violet eyes. Dresses in black and white. Riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest and warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. As soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the Alderman would start a collection, or go to the Lord for help. Now the Alderman don't use the privy without asking the Black One's permission first. And, as soon as they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Show me what you got behind the counter. Thanks for everything. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember. 
We'd rather not draw any attention. The black one's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Just want to talk. You deaf, Stray. No one here will talk to you. If it's company you seek, stick that mangy snout of yours in a trough with the pigs. <laughs> Show that shit eater, Micah. Red haired woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. What a waste of time! The Earth shall revolve around the Sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Giet, Assistant Professor in Contemporary History at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher, with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No, facts interest me, not fairy tales. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Interesting. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the Academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Hmm. Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Why not? Splendid! Here's how it's done.
You've a knack for this game. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stefan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself, the Butcher of Blaviken. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask, is this about love? None of your business. Yes. As a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An Ilf Guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. Better round up someone else to help. Three of you don't stand a chance against me. Well, I could fuck you up by myself. If I had a bag over my head and my hands tied behind... Actually, no, not even then. Chet, Lesh, back off. I'll teach this vagrant a lesson. Man on freak. <laughs> oh, how long are you gonna make me wait?
place of power should draw from it. Get up. Nice meeting you. Oh, we just punched it. Okay. Looking for trouble. Kings do the right.
Not get food. Not fair, sir. Talk to the commander. True, northern women pay barbarians. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. You black ones aren't so scary after all. Can even be nice if you want to. Don't get accustomed, Nordling. To the tower. Go. Goltais Griffin is out. Password. 
Don't know any. So, out for a little walk, eh? Counting the Emperor's swords to lull you to sleep? Well, in the army, we've a place for nosy ramblers. The scaffold. And thick skulled quartermasters. They got a place. <laughs> uh, you're clearly skilled at banter. And haggling? You got a knack for that as well. I'd like you to craft something for me. Show me where you're peddling. Morale holding up around here? You boys think you can win this thing? Ah, a spy after all. Or one to stir trouble. Neither. Just curious. Right. Well, tell anyone who cares we will win this war, because Radovid is mad. As everyone knows, and we've an extraordinarily well-drilled and well-supplied army. Incidentally, did you wish to buy something? So long. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. What girl? This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you.
Need more information about this griffin, its sex, why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died, look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mizlov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. Tamira and Mislav. Thanks. Es soon the actor. What happened? Monsters. Monsters from the swamp. Folks said the road was fraught with peril, but I wouldn't listen. Got my comeuppance now. Less moaning, more details. What happened, and how can I help? And remember, I don't work for free. Witcher's code and all. Well was on my way to the Black Ones to trade. Suddenly my horse got spooked, ran clear off the road. We hit a bump, I went flying and the horse and cart rolled on. Then I heard bubbling, neighing, slurping. Something came out from the muck, devoured Asha, hooves and all. No doubt my goods are still on the cart, but I'm too afeard to go and see. Thought maybe you? I'm most concerned about a little box. Bring it to me. I beg you. Fine, I'll go. Let you know if I find that box. Rode off into the swamp.
It's riddled with arrows. Interesting. I should take a look around. An arrow? Didn't mention this.
Square in the neck. Good shot. Either the merchant's got serious memory problems, or he's lying. riddled with arrows. Must be that box he mentioned. Splattered with blood. Human blood. You find the box? Yeah, found your priceless chest. And someone who looks an awful lot like a cart driver with an arrow through his neck. No dryads in these swamps, and never known a drowner or a water hack to use a bow. So lacking any other suspects, I'm guessing. Watch out! Behind you! There's nothing behind me. I'm a witcher, I'd have heard it. Just like I can hear your heart, which is pounding, like a liar's. Best hope you're a better writer than you are a liar. Come on. Get him out of here. W wake up. See? Can't run from the truth. Not even on horseback. Now who are you, and why'd you attack that cart? Private First Class John Gamer. Temerian 6th Division, 2nd Regiment. Disbanded, but still active. Underground, in the woods. That was a medical transport. I'd be damned if it reached the Black Ones. And the medicine. Our lads could use it too. We've many ill among us. You let me go, and they might live, and fight once more for a free North. Fine. Go. And may you and your soldier buddies hiding in the bushes be victorious in your struggle against Nilfgaard. You've a vile sense of humor. But you're a decent man. Here, the gold I promised. Use it well. Drink to the silver lilies and to Faltes' memory. Thanks once again, Tamiria.
Whoa. Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Trails fresh. His love just left home. You, Ms. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilfgaardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm hmm. Show you sure, but uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Sure, Griffin's not going anywhere. No, dogs might though. So step careful now. Come on. These dogs been a problem for a while now. Since the war started. Soldier on the march, he'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt, guts stuck to their spines, covered in sk Too late. Attacked another one. <laughs> Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, and I was the Lord's hunter. But that was before... Well, a long time ago. Sorry. Hope you weren't close. No. Not at all. So... Can you show me where you found the Nilfgaardians? Guardians? Griffin, know anything about it? Oh, not much. It's not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No Griffin can hear me nor spy me.
was here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to... Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last, either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. Grounds black, saturated with blood. Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. are older and deeper heavily armored elf guardians probably Griffin's nest. What remains of it at least. Corpse is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the Griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. Female. Larvae in her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Other Griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft. Dense barbs. Royal Griffin. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Place of power should draw from it.
damn deer have stripped the bark off the trees again. I am Medetta. That's what I said. May the sun shine upon you. So, hand me the beggar tickets, the red bloom. Well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar ticks poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Looking for buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking... A few years ago we had trouble, drowners under the bridge. A whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sars... something something. Ah, oh, good to know the Black Ones are looking out for our welfare. Doubt Emperor Amir cares about you, but this captain just might. Seems like a decent man. There are no decent men in the army. There are only orders. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. I believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It's always sat there empty, this hut. That is, till the night afore the battle. A man arrived, walked right in like to his own. Was standing at me window, peering at the goings on. He must have heard me, cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan, for protection, see? But he just asks all polite, Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. He seems to be listening. Just 
staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. Baffled for what's he doing, crying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Interesting. What happened then? Before dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come on, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. T'were old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm afeard to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Me thinks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. the stench. Cracked monocle. Interesting. What's that, dearie? Nothing, nothing. His throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. But when I gab to myself, they say I'm going barmy. His throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. Found the pan, have you? Documents. Almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. Found the pan. Ah, the priceless frying pan. Hmm. Scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this one if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents too. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilf Guardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here, son. For the road. I am the nice white fish for
to Vesemir. Greetings. A witcher? You see the notice? Hear about the well? A well? First I've heard. They're a problem. Aye. Tis haunted. Has been for a good twenty years. Twenty? So why do you put out a notice just now? Because earlier on we drew our water from the river. But so many corpses floating in it after the battle has turned noxious. My daughter Mandy drank half a pitcher. Felt dreadful ill. Can't keep nothing down. She grows worse by the day. Herbalist claims you fight a fever with drink. And not beer nor cider, but water. Clear, pure water. And where am I to get that if not from the well? But first, the ghost's got to be driven away. And it don't let any man near. This ghost. Describe it for me. Well, it's awful frightening. Awful. I meant what does it look like? It looks like a woman, but fresh from the grave. Wears a dirty dress, all rags, its skin flaking off its bones, and it howls like it's suffering. Some wraith, or maybe an alp. If you don't wallop it, master, if you don't take care of it, that is, it'll come kill me daughter. Fine, I'll help. Where's this well? In Havel, a settlement on the heights. It's abandoned now, no one ventures there on account of the ghost being about. Drive it off, please.
Come on, Roach. Infamous well. Strange. No sign of a ghost. Maybe it only shows at a certain time of day. Grass around the well scorched. Grass around the well scorched. around the well scorched bodies dried to a crisp signs it burns all signs point to a new wraith that must have belonged to the woman in the well.
guide the Noon Wraith to this place. An object. Something she needs before she'll leave this world. Stabbed with a knife, died on the spot. Animals fed on his body, picked his skeleton clean. More blood stains over there, but it's not his blood. Blood stains, barely visible. Someone was dragged this way, someone who was still alive. The journal might be useful. in blood. Small hands. A woman's. Someone dragged her out. She was wounded. Fought for her life. No body in sight, but might still find some tracks. Under the right conditions, bloodstains can remain visible for decades. Another print by the well. Blood stains, almost faded, but the lines taut. Something's not right. A corpse hanged by the bucket rope. Wide pelvis, small jaw. A woman, round thirty, judging by the teeth. Left arms missing. Need to cremate the remains. Gotta find the object that binds her to this place before I do, though. Let's take another look. Lovely craftsmanship. But I'll have to burn it with the body to get rid of the Noon Wraith for good. Better do it near the well. Need to prepare for this fight. Brew some Wraith oil. Drink some potions.
That bracelet might be what ties the woman's spirit to this place. Bracelet. Igni. Yeah. What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, dimwit? Some bugger set alight me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks. I found nothing. 
But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. Stinks of piss and vodka. Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. Lost his boots in the rush. Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. lead back to the village. Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. Good man. Whose field is that? The other side of the trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. Gotta be him. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner? What the fuck do you care? Whoa, our arsonist's a charmer too. Come on, Smith wants to talk to you. I ought to talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! Calm down. Now follow me. I... I gotta... Apologize. Gotta go. Apologize.
Up and at him. Hmm? What? what? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap! You! I knew your mum for years. Charged her nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No! Willis, I beg you, I, 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 I was drunk. D didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. his punishment goes but deserved you know i hated the black ones at first like everybody else did now i'm thinking they might just bring order to this place teach these layabouts some manners but enough about that your reward and i managed to save some things from the fire anvil still holds so i'm sure i can bang something out on it you need anything let me know give you a good price Job done. The well was haunted by the ghost of a woman who was killed there. I drove it away. I just hope every unburied wretch don't start haunting us. Well, that battlefield's gonna cause us a heap of trouble. If they do, you know who to contact. Meanwhile, Claire, Volker, names ring a bell? I don't know him. Though I did hear our herbalist Tamira mention a Claire once. Same one, maybe? Your reward, Master Witcher. The gold I'd hid away for Mandy's dowry. Without you, she'd never have lived to wed. Now, there's hope for it, at least. At this point, doubt I'll ever marry. You keep the coin for Mandy, her wedding. Raise a toast to my health then. Thank you, Master Witcher. Them's warm words, you've a good heart. But I can't let you go empty-handed. Take this, at least.
Do that often? Talk to your dog? It's my brother's, Bastion's. But I guess he's mine now. See, Bastion fought the Black Ones in a battle just outside the village. I haven't had word of him since. I told him, do like I did, lose a finger or two so they won't recruit you. Too damn afeard he was. Bloody hell. I'd walk the battlefield if I were you. I did. Sea of corpses. And corpses feeding. Someone told me they're afeard of fire, so I took a torch, tried to chase them off. Horse shite, I tell you. Would have ended up eaten alive if it weren't for Hussar here. Listen, guessing you carry those swords for more than show. Come with me. Keep the ghouls off. Help me find Bastion and I'll pay you well. Fine, I'll help you. Just... Been a few days since the battle. Chances we find your brother alive are slim. Very slim. Who would have thought? But I want to find his body at least. So Bastion don't rot there in the sun with the black ones. Meet me on the hill overlooking the battlefield. We'll move on together from there. Yeah, good. Bastion. His body must be here somewhere. Among countless others. Want to examine them one by one? Could take a while. You needn't fret. The recruits from White Orchard painted a small flower on their shields so as to be able to spot each other in battle. There was just a few of them. We look for the flowers, we'll find Bastion quick. No offense, but many of soldiers dropped his shield. Especially if he was on the losing side. If we find the shield alone, Hassan will catch the scent and lead us to Bastion. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. So many corpses. And the war's just started. Neighbor's son. Come on, Hassar. Can you smell Bastion, boy? Boy. Uh, skin's burned off. 
Might be hard to tell, I know, but could this be him? Oh, yeah. Bastion was big, broad shouldered. This one seems smaller, but maybe it's the fire did that. That him? No. Doesn't look anything like him. He found him! Hassar's caught his scent! Come on! But there is more. My lieutenant demanded we defecate on command. Ballista bolts landing all around, and all he could say was, A soldier with a full stomach will not step onto the battlefield. Now shit, that is an order. Can you believe it? The cretin. Stop! Oh, you're, oh, you're killing me. My, my ribs. Oh, it hurts to laugh. That needs a tourniquet. But first... Want to explain what's going on here? Bastion! Is he... Has this Nilf Guardian captured you? No. He saved my life. I, I got a cut to me side. And then got hit in the head. Couldn't see anything. Rosin here found me as... As he crawled across the battlefield. His legs twisted. And so we were. Blind man, leading a cripple. Found this place. I'm taking you home. We need to see to these wounds. I won't leave Rose in here. I'll own he'll die. And he can't go back to his home. He's deserted. They'll hang him. And what if they find him with us? They'll hang us all, my Laisha included. No, the Blacken stays here. Bastion only made it with the Black One's help. Maybe you ought to show him Nordlings aren't as barbarous as Nilfgaardians make us out to be. Well, I could give him our pa's clothes, teach him to work the field, but that accent... Fine, I'll take him in. Thank you, Witcher. Your reward, and the gods protect you.
just destroy it. That's it, Roach.
Damn, you're a big... Not so fast, Roach. Hey there.
Whoa there, Roach. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Got good news and bad news. Good news first. Captain of the Nilfgaardian garrison knows where Yennefer went. And the bad's that we have to kill the Griffin for him. What else could he want from two witches? Go on. Tell me what you know. Griffin's abandoned its lair. Gotta make a lure, set a trap. And how's that going? Learned some things. It's a male, had its nest in the Vulpine Woods. The Nilf Guardians burned the woods down, killed its mate, smashed their eggs. Thought they'd fixed things. It's always the same. Instead of sending for a professional, they try to do it themselves, only end up making matters worse. Got the buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, manure, piss, standard smells of the countryside. Remember Tredegor, hunting that zoogle in the trash heap? You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word and we'll get to work. Later, Vesemir. Something else you'll be needing. Got anything interesting under the counter? Depends what you're after. Have a look. Grass during the hunger gap. Later. 